Robbie Davis will center one, forcing through a shutdown, and make the save and Brian Rooney puts it home, it's a goal! That's good, Rooney on the steal to O'Connor, right in front, oh, the save by Connor, right on the back, Rooney straight by the crease, O'Connor! Hello again, hockey fans, and welcome to the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. That's right, the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. The Australia, 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 Australia,
You're watching the student station on KN Community Television. Welcome back, hockey fans. Here at the Ice House in Massachusetts, beat the Cisco along with Nick Mathail as we bring you the Bulldogs against the Clippers of Falmouth High School. And this should be a great matchup, as we talked about earlier, Nick. You look forward to this game, and uh, what a great game this is going to be. And here we go. So, face-off won by King, but it's going to go down into the Falmouth zone. Falmouth's going to try and break it out, but that's stopped there by Spinelli. Spinelli has it behind the net. Still stops. He goes the other way, throws it behind the net. Falmouth able to intercept that puck as they're going to try and break it out. Devlin has it. She breaks it out to Hoster. She'll throw it down deep. Roth is there first. She's checked there by Campbell. Lehan trying to help out. Puck goes, bounces out in front of the net. Lehan picks it up. She's going to try and throw it out of the zone. That's stopped. And kicked out by Canton. And Falmouth's going to try and move it in. And they do. Corey Cowell will throw it up. Puts it up ice. Oh, big hit there in center ice. As Pendens took a big hit there. But uh, Canton able to pick up the loose puck. Corey Cowell will throw it down the ice. And she's going to ice that puck and get the, uh, the change here as Falmouth had a little bit of an edge there uh, in the Canton zone. Well, I, th I think uh, Falmouth uh, had a great first shift there. Uh, a lot of physical play. And uh, Canton girls have to be ready for that. So face off in the Canton zone. McLean. Nora McLean, the freshman, on the face off. Playing very, very well. She's really come into her own in the past three or four games, Nick. She's really picked up the play. And here she goes. Here she takes it to center right. She goes into the uh, into the zone. Stock right behind her. She's able to pick up the loose puck. That's going to go back to, to Cohen. Cohen throws it down deep. Abby Stock in the corner now. She's checked there. As Thomas does a good job on the court. But they're able to pick up that loose puck. As Cusack takes it in center right, she's going to be chased into her own zone. Spinelli throws it up, and that's going to go into the Falmouth zone. That's picked up by Barrera. She's checked by Stock, throws it out. Cohen throws it down deep, as Stock has to clear the zone. Cusack on the four check now. Cusack in hard as Kim getting a change. Pendis now on the sideboard. She's able to pick up the loose puck, but it does go out in the center ice. And back comes Falmouth again. Johnson has it. She goes one on one on a good defensive play there by Georgia Campbell. Good poke check there. And uh, Canton able to pick up the loose puck. Corey Carr comes out with it now with a head of steam. She gets into the Falmouth zone. She goes deep. She's got Pendis right out in front. She takes it around the net. Sends it back to Campbell. Campbell back to Corey Carr in the corner. It's going to go back to Campbell at the point. Campbell going to throw it back into Carr, the senior. She throws it towards that. Oh, it just goes wide. Corey Carr with the shot. Just went wide, and that's going to be cleared into the neutral zone. Campbell start out with it. Tenders has it now. She's going to dump it down deep. As Lehan on the fourth check. Lehan in hard. Able to disrupt that breakout a little bit. Foster, she takes it out. We pass over to Roth. Roth has it as she goes into the top of the circle. She's checked by the Canton defense. Bailey Cohen right there. And that puck is thrown right out in front, right in the crease. Knocked to the point. Falmouth able to keep that loose puck in. Good play there as Finale able to pick up the loose puck and she'll throw it down deep. And both teams getting very, very quick changes here, Nick. Yeah, um, so uh, pace, pace has been excellent so far by both teams, and uh, you know, Canton, um, uh, after that first shift, really responded well to that physical play. Tori Cow, what a great rush uh, to get some offense generated. And she took that nice shot from the sideboard, and uh, I'm not sure if the goaltender, Devlin, got a piece of that one, but uh, she definitely uh, was going for that top corner. That looked like it had a chance there, Pete. So Kaylee Cohen has it now. She'll throw it up ice. As uh, Canton trying to move it into the Falmouth zone. Maggie Daly trying to get control of that. As uh, that will go down into the Canton zone. Spinelli has it. She'll throw it up to Daly. Daly trying to move it over to Raffetto. Daly on the sideboards. Maggie Daly going to try and throw that out. But right back in by Falmouth. Spinelli trying to put it out. Falmouth defense holding that line. Raffetto will throw it out into center ice. Now it's a foot race. Daly on, uh, on the forecheck. 
picked up by Kaylee Cohen. Cohen moves on the right. She gets over the line. She has Prendis walking in. She catches her. Oh! Oh, what a play there! Kaylee Cohen brings it all the way in. Had Prendis coming in. Made a nice pass, and Prendis with a nice backhand shot puts it by Devlin and Canton up one to nothing. Excellent finish by Penders, but the wherewithal for Kaylee Cohen to see that opportunity in the neutral zone, go to the net hard, but all the while she knew her opponent, uh, her, um, her partner was coming down. Very wonderful pass over there to set up that goal. Great job by Kaylee Cohen. Kaylee Cohen right over the line. She saw it, like you said, Nick, she had the opening, took it, and Georgia Penders, again, going right for the net, though, though very heads-up play there by Georgia Penders going for the net and knew uh, Kaylee Cohen was going to slide it over. So Good vision there by uh, both players. So Hello. Hannah, Hannah won to nothing here. And they're going to dump it down into the uh, Falmouth zone. Penders on the four check now. Penders trying to pick it up. Johnson has it. She'll throw it to the point. It's kept in by Tori Carr. Uh, picked up by McLean. McLean on her own as Canton getting a change as she's tripped up and no call. McLean still behind the net. Huzak trying to pick up the loose puck. That's going to go on the sideboard there. Briggs will take it out. Gets it out to center ice. Stopped there by Canton though. Donahue throws it up. McLean on the four check. Now Stock trying to get it. And picked up Kaylee Cohen right off the bench. She takes it again. She's got ahead of Steve. She gets it in. Drops it for Stock. That's blocked there. Can't able to maintain control. McLean has it. She's going to try and dump it down deep as Cusack goes after it. Now Abby Stock again trying to get control as Falmouth able to break it out finally as Devin Spinale takes it. Tries to hit uh, Cusack just a little ahead of her. And this is going to be icing on Falmouth. So well, Nick, I'm not sure Falmouth is uh, used to this being down, uh, being down in these games this early. You can see they're a little bit flustered. Well, that was certainly a surprise, and um, um, not, not a great icing there, giving him the offensive zone faceoff. Let's see what the Bulldogs can do. Go so on the faceoff, Vicente, and uh, Falmouth's going to win that one. So Coach Petrie going with, uh, with four lines here. Early in this game, there's Pugnale picks up the loose puck to Cohen. That's intercepted there as Devin Spinale has it now. She uh, she loses that puck and that thrown right out in front of the net. And that's just blocked in front, blocked again as that was Hostel who took that shot. Puck still loose in the cannon zone. Finally going to get out of the zone as Falmouth going to try and move the puck into the Canton zone again and back comes Falmouth. Vieira has it. She leans towards the net. But that's stopped by Cohen. Good play by Kaylee Cohen. Again, she's going to take it up ice. She goes with a head of steam over the line. She takes a shot. That's stopped there by Devlin. Cohen still behind the net. She has it as Canton went for the change. First unit for Canton out there now. As uh, Spinelli behind the net. Now Penders who scored that first goal. She's on the four check. As uh, Falmouth does break it out of the zone and into the Canton zone. They're going to shoot it on that. That just goes wide on the sideboards. Meehan has it. Tried to move it up the Pendridge. Couldn't connect. Falmouth's going to intercept that. They're going to dump it down deep, but Campbell will pick it up behind her own net as Falmouth going for the change. There's a little bit of running room there up the Lehan, but that's just out of her reach, and that will be icing on Canton. So 7.51 left in this first period. One to nothing to score. Very, very good game up and down so far, Nick. Well, early in that last shift, Falmouth had an outstanding opportunity, but some nice defense by Canton and Kaylee Cohen uh, grabbing that puck again, making things happen. Great so, rush by her. So McLean on the faceoff. She's going to win that one. She gets over to Stock. She's trying to hit Fusak just a little out of her reach. So Briggs has it. She gets it up to Johnson. She moves it into the Falmouth, I mean, into the Canton zone. And there's a shot on net and a big save. By Budway. Hey, Budway able to move that puck behind the net. Falmouth now on the four check. McLean's going to pick it up. Nora McLean will throw it up to Cusack. Cusack gets center ice. She's got stock with her. Cusack gains the line. She goes wide with it. She's going to take it behind the net. 
Cusack leaves it for Stock, back to Cusack. She still has it, she's gonna try and come out. Nope, she's gonna go back to Cohen at the point. Kaylee Cohen, she's gonna step up with it now. She goes into the corner with it as uh, Stock right out in front. Oh, tried to hit Stock, just a little out of her reach. Cusack though picks it up. She's able to get the lead puck behind the net. McLean comes in to help out. She picks it up. Nora McLean gets it. Back to Cohen. Cohen takes the shot. Just a little wide on that one. As uh, I think she was going for the lane. And Kitten on the way back. Now Cusack with a nice place next to the top of the circle. Takes the shot. Oh, the big stop there by Devlin. As Cusack came in to the middle of the circle. Took a nice shot. But Devlin made the save. Well, Cusack picked up a nice indirect pass there from Cohen. Uh, came in, uh, Cohen made a tremendous save, knock, knocking it out of play. Bulldogs had a prime opportunity there. Uh, the pressure around is building for the Bulldogs here. They're doing a nice job. So face-off in the Falmouth zone. Raffetto on the face-off. Out there with Lions and Daly. And that puck's going to go into the Canton zone. That's just a foot race here. Oh, good play there by the Canton defense. That was number three, Grace Donahue. The nice, hustle, good hustle to get back as Falmouth now is going to try and move it into the Canton zone. Maruso has it. She can't hold on to it as Canton trying to get it out of the zone, but that's picked up by uh, by Duffany. She'll throw it towards the net. As it's on the sideboards now. Graffetto has it as she's checked by two Falmouth players. And trying to, both teams trying to dig it out. It does pop out. Lions. Are, Trying to get control. Donahue throws it up to Maggie Daly. Daly with a nice play off the boards. In fact, comes Lyons. Lyons one on two here. But she's, she's got Raffetto coming in. She takes the shot at the top of the circle. And uh, and again, Devlin with the save. Uh, that was a great shift there by uh, Grace Donahue. She started off uh, having to face down a two on one. Really good uh, body position and physical play. And then later that shift was able to lead the breakout and uh, give Lyons an opportunity to score there. So face off in the Falmouth zone. Canton's going to win that one. Kept in by uh, Anna Lehan. Now Penders has it. Checked there by Spinelli. As uh, Falmouth able to move it out of the zone. We have a three on two here. As Falmouth takes it in. And a good defensive play there by Devin Spinelli. I mean, uh, yeah, Devin Spinelli. And Anna Lehan picks up the loose puck. She's going to start out with it now. Lehan comes through center right. Got Spinelli on the far wing. She drops it for Penders back into Lehan. She tries to take it out front. Just stop the Cohen able to keep it in. Cohen dumps it in. As Spinelli covers for her. Cohen behind the net throws it around for Penders. As Falmouth trying to break it out again. But that's broken up by Canton. Falmouth not able to miss. Penders and takes the shot. Gets it down deep. As Canton going for the change. Now McLean on the four check. McLean trying to gain control, along with Cusack, that's going to go out the center ice, as Grace Donahue has it, she's going to throw it down deep, and Kenton going to go on the forecheck again, Cusack goes in, tries to pick up the loose puck, as Falma stopped there by Carr, Carr keeps it in, into Cusack, Cusack has it slot, she takes it and scores! What a shot there by Cusack! Oh, she got right into the slot and took that shot, Nick. I don't know if the, the referee, I don't know if he's going to call it or not, but it looked like it hit the crossbar, but he called it a goal. Well, that was definitely uh, up under the top shelf there, in and out pretty quick. Uh, good reaction time on the referee to spot that, but up, they say up where uh, Mama hides the, the cookie jar. That's right, that's right. Top shelf, baby, top shelf. Uh, great shot by uh, Cusack, uh, and a nice uh, setup there by Tori Carr. So Canton up two to nothing here. Abby Stock takes it in. She's just stopped there as Falmouth down two to nothing with four minutes left in this period. So Cusack will throw it up, but that's picked off by Vieira. She goes in. She takes a shot. That's just wide. Devin Spinelli has it behind her net. She'll throw it up to Cusack. Can't control. Spinelli's going to go back the other way. Gets it up to Cusack, but uh, Falmouth defense pinching in, able to hold that line. Cohen trying to gain control, now goes up to Stock on the side boards, but picked up there by Turner. She turns, takes a shot, just blocked by McLean. 
Turner has it again, and she dumps it in. Kaylee Cohen, nice move. Get away from the Falmouth uh, forechecker there. And Falmouth has to clear the zone. So back comes Falmouth now. Johnson gains the line, but she's broken up. And Stock throws it out to center ice. So Duffy will start out with it, but that's blocked again by Kenton. Adam Stock has it. She'll throw it down deep. As uh, Canton getting a wholesale change here. Three forwards and two defense. And that picked off there by Kutnally. So Kutnally behind the net now. She has it. She throws it around to Wilkinson on the sideboard. Wilkinson has it on the forecheck. That's picked off there. Hostetter comes out with it. But stopped there by Campbell. And back comes Kutnally. And she, she got Vicente in the middle. Tried to get it over. Just intercepted there. Tori Todd throws it down deep. So this is huge by uh, for Canton with this fourth line, getting some uh, valuable ice time, giving some rest to the to the uh, to the other three lines. Nick, getting these guys out there. They're doing their job. They're keeping it in deep, uh, giving uh, making a little havoc out there. So Falma trying to go for the hail mary pass. That's going to go all the way down onto Budway. So Tori Carr has it now. She goes up to Lehan, and Lehan able to get it out of his own. Falmouth has to clear the zone. Campbell has it. She throws it down, and this will be icing as she didn't quite make the center ice line. And Canton will be called for icing. This will go back into the Canton zone. A good shift there by uh, that fourth line, really uh, taking some valuable minutes, keeping the puck in deep. And uh, just, a, uh, just a difficult angle there. Uh, tried to bank it off the boards, but did slide all the way down for an icing just barely. So Lehan on the faceoff. And that's picked up by, by uh, Falmouth, but Devin Spinelli will get it into the corner. She's checked, but makes a nice move to get away. So Spinelli now will take it out of the zone. Now Canton with the three on two. Canton, Anna Lehan going for the next. Spinelli takes the shot, looking for the rebound. Oh, and she's hit from behind. And we are going to have a penalty on Falmouth. Good call there by the referee as Pereira. Uh, Anna Lehan going for the rebound as uh, the goaltender Devlin held on to it, but she gave her a little, little tap there as she went by, but uh, took, a, took a hit from behind by Ferreira. So Canton on the power play. Canton's on the power play. You know what they say, the referees usually see the retaliation. So, uh, so this is a big opportunity for Canton here, already up two to nothing. Hopefully they can put another goal in here. So Canton with the puck. We're going to dump it down deep. Lehan trying to get it. Spinelli has it. Over to uh, Kaylee Cohen. Over to McLean. Back over to Cohen. Cohen takes a shot. Two kit players in front. Trying to get the tip. That's kept in by Kaylee Cohen. Spinelli has it now. Gets it back to Cohen. Nice pass into Lehan. Uh, I mean, it's a huge act. Now over to McLean. Oh, she takes a shot. Next to the block. So Falmouth's going to try and get it out of the zone they do back comes Kaylee Cohen and she'll have to circle back as she's checked there by Johnson gets it up to Lehan Lehan's going to start out with it gets it to Cusack Cusack over the line Cusack gains the line she has it gets it over to Devin Spinelli she tries to backhand it in the corner Lehan on the four check Lehan trying to get control as Cusack comes in to help out Cusack trying to pick it up, now Lehan, but uh, Duffany able to pick up that loose puck and she's going to ice that puck, send it all the way down into the Canton zone as Kaylee Cohen will pick it up. She's checked there by Johnson and Roth, Roth able to pick up the loose puck. Oh, tried to hit Johnson out front, but Kaylee Cohen with a good defensive play there. Canton trying to move it out of their own zone as there's one minute left in the period. McLean now has a head of steam. She tries to split the defense, goes right in, throws it on Devil in the goal, and then she has to tie it up as Nora McLean going hard for the net. Uh, so far, that's a pretty good penalty kill by Falmouth there. Uh, Canton had some, some shape and uh, some consistency there at the beginning of the power play. Um, once that first clear was made, a little trouble on the zone entry. And uh, Canton's got uh, 21 seconds here remaining on this power play to see if they can set it up for a nice shot. So Anna Lehan on the faceoff as Cusack tries to get control, but Falmouth able to take it out of the zone. Falmouth 
Brings it in there. That's Devlin. She has the puck. She throws it out in front. Throws it right through the crease. As that's taken valuable seconds off the clock as Devlin again tries to throw it towards Budway. So that'll do it on the penalty as uh, Falmouth able to get out of that, uh, that power play. But back comes Canton with 12 seconds left. Leehan's going to throw it all the way down behind the net. McLean, good hustle to get down there to pick it up. She's on Briggs. But now Roth has it behind her own net, and that will just about do it in this period. And what a period it was for the Lady Bulldogs, as they are up two to nothing. Well, that was definitely the start that the Bulldogs were looking for to have a two nothing lead after after one period here uh, against a very quality Falmouth squad. Uh, I'm sure that's what uh, Coach Petrick was looking for. No question there. And goals by Penders and Cusack. And uh, just, I mean, good good hustle. But Canton started out slow, Nick, I think. A little, uh, but t both teams did. But Canton definitely picked it up as the period went on. And they had some great opportunities on the goaltender devil. Absolutely. I'd like to see Canton gain a little more leverage uh, on the body positioning. Falmouth's very good at gaining that uh, leverage through strength. Uh, they've got some uh, good size and strength in their team, and they're using their body to their advantage. Uh, Kent needs to be aware of that. Don't stand up so straight. Bend those knees, get some strength in those legs. There you go. And so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with the second period action. You know what's even cooler? The Student Station on Canton Community Television. Welcome back, hockey fans. Here at the Ice House, Pete Sisko along with Nick Mateo. The Lady Bulldogs up 2 to nothing over the Lady Clippers here in the second period. As the puck is dropped and Canton able to pick up the loose puck, they're going to dump it down deep. See if they can build on what they started in that first period. What a great first period for the Lady Dogs there, Nick. And uh, as they're going to try and continue here, but Falmouth able to move it out. We got a three on two here. Falmouth able to get the loose puck. That's Roth. She throws it. Oh, and a good stop there by Budway. And Devlin got the uh, puck in the middle. She took that shot, but Budway had to be sharp on that one. Budway was sharp on that one. Falmouth has an excellent breakout. Uh, they're able to break out cleanly a few times here tonight, Pete. And their zone entry, I like. They come in. They create some depth, and they're trying to set up a triangle to get that to the girl in the high slot. He took the pass, but Budway was up to the task. So face off in the Canton zone. Canton able to gain control. Cusack tries to chip it out. It's picked up by Stock. Abby Stock had it. She'll throw it out the center ice. Stopped there by Vieira. Vieira has it for Falmouth. She's going to start out with it. Gets it up to Roth and throws it in, but she's checked there. And Canton trying to move it out. Roth has it again. Stopped by Spinelli. Doesn't Spinelli. She's very offensive minded. She takes that uh, puck and gets it into the Falmouth zone. And she follows right along on the forecheck. Cusack on the forecheck. She's able to pick up the loose puck. Cusack has it behind the net. She's going to throw it back to the point. Gets it back to Cohen and keeps it in. Haley Cohen will throw it down deep. Gets it in the stock in the corner. Abby Stock has it now. She goes over the circle. Just broken up. Cohen keeps it in again. She holds that line. Good play by Kaylee Cohen. She has it behind the net. Cohen looks, has her head up, gets it back to Spinelli at the point. Spinelli takes a shot. That's blocked in front by Duffany. And she's checked there as Spinelli has it. She gains control and gains the line. She's going to throw it down deep. Now Cusack on the, on the uh, fourth check. She's checking Vieira behind the net. Izzy Cusack tries to gain control. She does. Cusack comes out with it. She has it. Oh, gives it to Corey Kai, who's breaking. Kai has it again. She takes the shot. That's stopped by Devlin. Kai behind the net now. Kai takes it. She gives it to Cusack. Cusack tries to throw it up to McLean. McLean has it. She's broken up, but picked off by Spinelli. Look, puck loose in front. That's taken away by Roth. Almost kept in by Corey Kai. And back comes Falmouth. Johnson has it. She 
takes a shot and Budway with the stage. Picked up by Roth. Roth leaves it in the corner for Johnson. And she's checked there by Donahue. Spinelli has it on the sideboards. Donahue picks up the loose puck. She's going to go around the net and start over. Grace Donahue, she throws it up the sideboards, but that's stopped there by the defense. And Tori Carr behind the net, <laughs> along with, along with uh, McLean. Both teams trying to gain control. It goes up on the sideboard to Spinelli. Spinelli throws it out in center ice. And picked up by Griggs. But intercepted by Kimba. Back, oh, back comes Johnson. As she made one extra move at the blue line and put her line mate offside. Some furious action to these first couple minutes of this period. Pete Kenton had some golden opportunities. And then finally found with coming down with a great opportunity. I think the girl rushed a little bit. I don't think she realized she had someone in there for a two-on-one. Took the shot and Kate was there. So right off the faceoff, Johnson able to pick up that loose puck. Senior captain behind the net. She took that shot and went over the, went over the net. But uh, Lehan able to pick up the loose puck. Anna Lehan, senior captain for Canton. Gains the line. She throws it down deep. Lehan still has it. Just broken up behind the net, but she's going to get it back. Lehan takes it right out front. Just blocked. Canton has it now. Penders, but now Lehan behind the net. Lehan still has it. She's going to get it back to the point. Gets it back to Campbell. Campbell's going to throw it back to Lehan behind the net. Anna Lehan, she's tripped up with no call. And back comes Fallon again. Turner has it. She gains the line. She takes a shot, and that's blocked by Spinelli. Canton trying to move it out of their own zone. Spinelli's going to pick it up. She's got a head of steam. She gains the line. She takes a shot, puts it on Devlin, who's going to leave it for her defenseman. Briggs has it now. He throws it up the boards, but that's going to be intercepted by Cohen. Cohen steps in. She takes a shot. Oh, tries to slide it over to Raffetto. Just couldn't get her stick on it. Raffetto behind the net now. Now on with Maggie Daly. As both teams trying to get control. Raffetto comes out in the corner with it. She's got Lions right out front. She takes a shot. Oh, hit the post. Lions on the backhand. Hit the post. And foul, but they will pick up the loose puck and get it out of the zone as Kent getting some great opportunity here, and they come right back. Lions on the four check. Kaylee Cohen picks it off. That's going to be dumped down into the Falmouth zone as Canton getting a change now. And stopped at center ice by Carr. Tori Carr has it. Gains the line. Leaves it for Cusack. Cusack takes a shot. And another save by Devlin. So Canton with some great opportunity there, Nick. Uh, uh, Canton continues to create chances, some great opportunities. They're really working hard in the zone. Uh, nice play earlier there by Maggie Daly, just to be in the right position, force the Falmouth defender to just throw it up the boards and created an opportunity for Canton. And uh, Cassidy Lyons hitting the post on the backhand. <laughs> nice little play. Great play there in front of the net. And there's a little trickler in. Very dangerous on Devlin, but she's able to tie that puck up again. So Ken continuing, winning the faceoffs in the Falmouth zone and keeping the puck in his own. That so Nora McLean, the freshman, on the faceoff now. McLean tries to get it over to Cusack. McLean picks it up on the sideboards. Nora McLean tries to come out with it. She tries to do a turnaround. Just fans on it, but she's able to get it again. Now Cusack with the puck. She's checked there. That's going to go into McLean, and she's going to pick it up. Tries to push it ahead, but that's stopped there by uh, Spinelli. Spinelli will throw it down deep. McLean again behind the net. Picks it up. She's going to try and throw it down. But this uh, will be deflected down into the Canton zone. Devin Spinelli, good hustle there to get back. as She's checked there by Devlin. Puck does. No, does not get out of the Canton zone. As Falmouth able to keep that one in. Falmouth, I mean, uh, Canton trying to break it out now. Cusack comes up the boards. Nice pass up to Stock. Stock gets it and throws it down deep. Falmouth trying to break it out. Devlin gives it up to Johnson. Johnson all alone here. Now Devlin comes up, gives it to her. Takes a shot out that just goes wide. As Falmouth trying to get a change on the defense and Canton decides they're just going to ice that puck. Probably a pretty good move there, Nick. Well, it looks like they were wanting that change, and 
Uh, best case scenario there, get the whistle, get some fresh legs on the ice. Uh, Falmouth with a nice opportunity there, uh, just a bit high. So faceoff will be to the right of uh, Kate Budway in the Canton zone. So on the faceoff, Vicente, oh, right off the faceoff, very dangerous. That was number 17, Ferreira. Took that shot and Budway made a nice glove save. Right, you got to be prepared for anything in that uh, offensive zone faceoff. Those pucks can snap on the net in a hurry. So Vicente, the freshman, on the faceoff. And Falmouth going to win that one, but can't be able to get that one right into the Falmouth zone. Cordale on the forecheck now. Now Wilkinson coming in. Wilkinson tries to get control. Falmouth going to dump it out of his zone into neutral zone, but good back checking there by Vicente. Picked it off. Campbell has it. And she's going to dump it out. Cordnally throws it down into the Falmouth zone. This is not going to be icing as they say Falmouth touched it. And Canton getting a wholesale change here. Cordnally now on the forecheck as Lehan came off the bench. Lehan trying to move it in. Devin Spalley just jumped over her stick. Cohen has it. Cohen's going to get over to Penders. Penders tries to throw it in. Now Spinelli as uh, Spinelli couldn't hold on to that one. She does dump it in. Falma trying to break it out. Ferreira with the pass up. She gets it up to Cox and she'll throw it down deep. Now Kaylee Cohen has it now. Cohen's got some running room. She gets it up ice up to Spinelli. Over to uh, Lehan. Lehan has it top of the circle. Takes a shot that's blocked in front. But goes right on the stick of Penders and took the shot. And a big save by Devlin. And back comes a Johnson for Falmouth. And good poke check there by Kaylee Cohen. I'll tell you, Nick, Cohen's having a great game so far. Tremendous tonight. game. So play continues in the Canton zone. He's going to go into the corner as Ferreira. She's checked by Cohen. Picked up by Johnson. Johnson has it right in the slot area. Trying to turn to get a shot up, but broken up by Lehan. And Lehan throws it out. Good defensive play there by Anna Lehan. So action at both ends of the ice here. Well, definitely a recovery there for Canton. They left a little bit too much space there for the family to operate, but nice play by Lehan to break that up. So Turner has it. Turner takes the shot. That's going to go wide. Cohen picks up the loose puck. And going to get it out of the zone. This will go down into the Falmouth zone as Stock on the chase. Stock trying to get the loose puck. Checks uh, checks Duffany behind the net. Abby Stock, good play. Good forecheck there by Abby Stock. McLean picks up the loose puck. McLean's going to slide it. Slide it back to Donahue. Back into McLean. And Stock again trying to get that loose puck behind the net. Donahue steps up as she's checked on the sideboard. Good play by Donahue. Took the check and kept it in. That's going to go right back to the point. Kersha has it. Kersha takes it. She takes a shot. And that just goes wide. Walked in front as Kent with the power play here. Trying to take advantage of this opportunity. Kaylee Cohen's going to go back, but she sits there by Ferrier. That's going to go up to, up to Spinelli. Spinelli throws it up. Uh, just out of the reach of Cusack, but no, no icing. It's good hustle by Cusack. But Falmouth able to pick up that loose puck and they're going to throw it down deep. Violet Cox at it. It's going to chase uh, Kaylee Cohen behind the net. Gives it up to Spinelli. As Falmouth doing a good job pressuring the Canton defense on this power play. So Cohen with a nice move. She gets it out of the zone. She comes through center ice, gets it over the line. Kaylee Cohen drops it for Cusack. He tries to step in. She takes it on. She hit the crossbar. Cusack stepped in. Hit the crossbar with a beautiful snapshot. Leehan behind the net now. Anna Leehan tries to get it back to the point. That's kept in by Spinelli. Spinelli will dump it down deep. Last minute to play in this second period. As Falmouth able to get it out of the zone. Corey Kai starts out with it. That's center ice. Tries to hit Nora McLean just out of her reach. And Canton will start out with it again. Devin Spinelli takes it. She gains the line. Spinelli has it. Gets it over to Cusack. Cusack makes a little move. Just broke it up from behind. Cusack on the sideboard. That's going to go back to Spinelli who takes the shot. Just goes wide. As found the picked off there by Nora McLean. She takes the shot. Over the net. So Canton with some opportunity here. 20 seconds left. 
Cusack comes out of the net, comes out of the corner in front of the net, couldn't get the backhand off. Falmouth's gonna try and move it out. They finally do. As that's uh, Haley Ferreira, but picked up by Corey Carr. And she's gonna try and move it up the ice and throw it up into the Falmouth zone, but that will do it in this period. And what a period it was. Neither team able to put the puck in the net, but I'll tell you, up and down action, everything we thought this game was going to be, Nick. And I'll tell you, both teams having their opportunities. A great deal more action in that period, Pete, but no goals to show for it for either team. But what a tremendous period. Hinton had so many opportunities. Hinton was excellent on the forecheck, really working the puck around. Like to see them, you know, maybe pick their head up a little bit more in the offensive zone, see if they can spot somebody on that back post rather than uh, just kind of firing out the net. See if they can pick out a target and make that happen. Ken's got some goals coming, that's for sure. But they can't look uh, past this Falmouth uh, zone exit and zone entry because uh, they're doing a pretty good job and it looks like they're trying to hang someone high and they might take advantage of that with an odd person rush. So Ken with two power play opportunities in that period and just couldn't solve the, uh, the Falmouth penalty kill. I'll tell you, they did a good job, you give them credit. They kept Canton uh, at bay, not, not able to put that puck in the net. So uh, Falmouth having a great game at, at the same time, just not able to get many scoring opportunities in the Canton zone. Great high school hockey game. Can't wait to see this third period on a fresh sheet of ice. Absolutely. So stay tuned, hockey fans. We'll be right back with third period action. The student station. Welcome back, hockey fans, here at the Ice House in Canton, Mass. Beat the system along with Nick Maffeo, bringing you all the exciting action as the Lady Bulldogs are up 2 to nothing over the Lady Clippers of Fowler. And Nick, uh, even though no goal scoring in that second period, much better period for both teams. Especially the Bulldogs, I thought territorially they, they played tremendous last period. That was a great period. That was excellent high school hockey right there. But as we know, Pete, it's going to take three periods of up in the end to come up with a victory. 15 more minutes to play. That's Let's what, see what the girls can do. That's what they say, Nick. A full game is three periods. So, so Canton on the faceoff. They're going to win that one. And blocked at center ice, but picked up by Tori Kyle over the spin out. She's going to throw it in. That'll bounce into the Falmouth bench, so that'll be a whistle, and the faceoff will come at center ice. So we'll start this one all over again. Start it all over again. 12 seconds in. So Anna Lehan on the faceoff. Lehan tries to win that one. Picked up by Falmouth. That's going to go down into all the way to Cape Budway. She'll stop it. Gets it up to uh, Pendus, tries to move it out, but that's picked up by Lehan. Lehan has Pinelli with her. Lehan gets a shot. Oh, she struck. And Devlin with the save. She had Spinelli with her, but decided to take the shot. Picked off there now by Lehan again. Lehan has it. She's going to go towards the net. She flips it into the goal. And Devlin, and she holds on for the save. Well, good action by Canton there. Well, it looked like the uh, defender there uh, really played the pass, so leaving Lehan little choice but to take that shot. And I uh, had a nice shot there. Uh, just couldn't put it home, but uh, followed up with another shot. So a little bit of offensive action for the Bulldogs so far. So McLean on the faceoff. She's going to control that one in the, in the zone. Stock trying to get it. Kaylee Cohen holds it in. 
Gets it over to McLean. McLean has it at the top of the circle. She's going to take it behind that. She gets tripped up there. No call. That's picked off there by Cusack. Cusack has it now. She stops. She throws it down to the corner where McLean is there. Stock comes in to help out. Abby Stock trying to get control. Two foul the players now. Kaylee Cohen steps up, able to get that loose puck. Cohen fires it around. But that's picked up there by Duffany. Stopped by McLean. Good play by Canton. Keep the puck in the zone. McLean throws it down deep. Now Stock on the fourth check. Cohen steps up to keep it in. So Falmouth not able to break out of their own zone here. As Canton doing a good job borrowing them up. As Falmouth finally gets it out to center ice. Leehan comes on the ice and picks up the loose puck. She's going to throw it down deep. She's got Penders with her. And Spinelli, she loses the puck, so Falmouth able to get that puck out. Oh, stopped with the blue line by the Canton defense. Big play there by Donahue. And that's a shot on net. And Devlin had to make the save and tie the puck up. Well, great play up at the point by Donahue and uh, Lyle Spinelli working hard there to fight through and uh, get a shot on net. Not the leverage she would have wanted, but uh, she really worked hard on that one. So Lehan on the faceoff. She's out there with Spinelli and Pender. Lehan with the puck on the sideboard. Now Spinelli trying to hang on to that one, but Falmouth able to start out of their own zone. Briggs has it. She's going to throw it up the boards to Hostetter. She throws it into the Canton zone. But that's going to put Falmouth offside. they got to clear the zone. Canton able to throw it up into the Falmouth zone now. As Donahue trying to get control. As she was tripped up. And again, no call by the referees. She's going to go back down to the Canton zone. Kaylee Cohen has it. Cohen will start out with it. Gets it up to Penders. Tries to get it up. Gets it up to... Uh, Cusack, Cusack and McLean. Cusack, top of the circle, takes the shot. Oh, a big save there by Devlin. Defender and lost the stick, Pete. So, puck goes back to Cohen, over to Cusack. That's Falmouth again, trying to move that puck out. That's stopped there by Cusack, and she's tripped up again. But that was offside on Canton. A uh, few people look like they've lost some edges there, Pete. A uh, couple going down, so... Let's keep an eye on that. We don't want that to happen in inopportune time. I just call it tripping, Nick. Okay. So face off outside the... Could be gremlins. <laughs> there you go. So face off one by Canton. Raffetto has it at center ice. Maggie Daly trying to get control. Good play there by Daly. But Falmouth defense able to pick up the loose puck. They're going to dump it down deep into the Canton zone. Cohen gets on, on it first. Tries to slide it up into the neutral zone. As Briggs has it, Briggs gives it over to Spellman. She's going to throw it up. Uh, Spinelli, now Lyons picks up the loose puck. Lyons trying to move it out, but she's broken up there by Cox. She'll throw it down deep. Spinelli has it over to Cohen. Cohen with a nice breakout pass to Lyons. Lyons dumps it out into the neutral zone. She tries to throw it ahead. Now Raffetto. It's a foot race. Raffetto has it. She's going to lead towards the next. She's putting the shot on net. Oh, and a good play there by Lauren Raffetto to go right for the net. And Devlin had to stop that one and, and tie that one up. Well, uh, yeah, you said uh, foot race there. Not too many people are going to beat Raffetto in a foot race, that's for sure. She's got speed. She's got stamina. So face off in the Falmouth zone. First unit for Canton out there. Corey Kai is going to throw it down deep. Spinelli and Lehan on the forecheck. Falmouth able to get it out into the neutral zone. Johnson trying to move it down into the Canton zone. She stops. Johnson loses control, but that puck is loose out in front of uh, out in front of Budway. Canton trying to move it out of their own zone now. Duffany has it. It's going to be thrown down deep into the Canton zone. Tori Kai is going to pick it up. She's going to try and slide it around. And Spinelli able to kick it out of the zone. So that's a neutral zone. Now Pendles takes it, but she's hit it center right, but gets it down in the Falmouth zone. It's Kenton going for the chain. As Johnson tried to take a pass from her defenseman, couldn't hold on. And 
puck at center ice. It's going to go down now into the Canton zone as Kersher has it behind her net. It's going to stop, go the other way. Kersher is forechecked there, gets it up to Cardinale. Cardinale gets it into the center. Gets it over to Wilkinson. Wilkinson tips it down into the zone as Vicente on the forecheck now. Caitlin Vicente. Now Crugnale has it. Crugnale behind the net. Tries to control. Vicente now tries to forecheck. As Falmouth not able to break this puck out. Canton doing a great job on the forecheck. Is uh, Crugnale behind the net. Vicente also is going to go back to Kersher at the point. She throws it towards the net. Oh, it's tipped in front and just goes wide. Look like it bounced off the skate of Falmouth defenseman. Wilkinson puts it out front. And uh, Crugnale couldn't control, so back comes Falmouth. Falmouth able to gain the line. Good play there by Georgia Campbell. Puck goes behind the net, right in the crease, and a big save by Budway. And can't able to break that puck out. Crugnale goes to center ice. She tries to dump it down deep as Canton going for the change here. Cusack now on the on the forecheck as Canton gets the change. Cusack now following the puck. Haley Cohen stepped up, couldn't control. That's going to be thrown down into the Canton zone, and this will be icing on Falmouth. So Canton doing a great job on the forecheck in Falmouth zone and not letting Falmouth have any kind of quality breakout. Well, there was a tense moment down there. Uh, Falmouth had an opportunity. Puck squirted through the crease. Uh, Kate Budway was strong in that. And certainly a lot of action here, some speed. Canton doing a great job this period, though, so far, Pete. Absolutely. And uh, McLean on the faceoff. She won that one, but Falmouth able to pick up the loose puck. Hostetter has it now. She's going to gain the line. Hostetter takes it wide. She's stopped there by Cohen, along with uh, along, uh, along with Abby Stock. That's picked up by Cohen. Gets it up to Stock. Having trouble controlling that one. Goes over to Spinale. Spinale gets it up to Cusack. Stop at the point again, but that's blocked by McLean. And that's picked up by Stock. Abby Stock has it top of the circle. She throws it in on deck and Devlin bobbles that one. McLean gets the rebound, tries to put it right out front, throws it to Devlin, and she ties that one up again. McLean on the forecheck along with Abby Stock making things happen out there. Definitely making things happen, throwing the puck on the net, a little bit of a bobble. Uh, McLean was in there for that rebound, had an opportunity. Uh, Devlin was up to the task, though. So Anna Lehan on the faceoff, first shoot of the can out there, Lehan, Spinelli, and Penders. As uh, Falmouth Johnson able to move that out, but good back checking there by Penders. Breaks that play up, Penders tries to hit Lehan, can't connect there. Turner has it now for Falmouth, she broke it up by Spinelli. Spinelli with a good play, gets it over the red line and throws it down deep. Penders gives chase, Penders on the forecheck. As Turner now takes it. She tries to move it out, but that's stopped by Penders, and she takes a turnaround shot that goes wide. And she's going to head for the bench to get the change. Spinelli now on the sideboards. Spinelli trying to move that puck. Puck does bounce out as uh, Campbell steps up. She keeps it in. Throws it behind the Falmouth net. Spinelli on the board check. Spinelli able to pick up the loose puck. But she's got Abby Stock with her now. McLean's going to go in and try and pick it up. As back comes Johnson again. Johnson through center right. But she's broken up on the good back checking there. McLean's going to throw it down deep. Hitting going for really fast changes here with six minutes left in this period in the game. Great so, sticks by the Bulldogs, Pete. Great sticks. So behind the net now, Stock tries to gain control. That's going to be thrown out into the uh, neutral zone. As that's number six, Devlin, she takes the shot. Oh, a big defensive play there by number three, Grace Donahue. Good defensive play there by Donahue to stop that play. Not able to let Falmouth get a shot on that. That's blocked there by McLean there in the Falmouth zone. McLean on the forecheck now. McLean trying to trying to stop uh, Falmouth from breaking out of their zone. They're going to just throw it down into the Canton zone. It's a foot race, though. Uh, and there's a, uh, there's a trip there, or a uh, good hit there, I guess, by the Canton defense. And that's number 11, Casey Roth. She went down hard into the boards, but no call. 
And the puck's out of play. Well, I think, Pete, uh, the referee took a long time to wave off an icing, and I think that puts a lot of players at risk when you wait too long to make that call. Uh, so, um, unfortunately, she got tripped up. No call on the play. Puck out of play. Face off for Falmer. So face off in the Canton zone. As Canton moves it out. Good play there by Maggie Daly. Raffetto now on, on the chase along with Lyon. Raffetto steps up. Trying to keep uh, the Falma does break it out. Sierra takes it. She gets over the line. Sierra throws it towards the net, but that's stopped by Lyons. Lyons tries to move it out. That's stopped in front. Puck right out in front. <laughs> Again, blocked by Spinale. Canton defense doing a good job break, uh, blocking those shots in front of Kate Budway. Puck's going to pop free. Kaylee Cohen has it. She's going to get it up to Lyons. Lions pass into center ice. Can't connect with Maggie Daly. Daly on the forecheck now. As Falmouth able to break it up. Riley Cox gets over the line. She tries to turn the defense. Good play there by Cohen to keep it to the outside. Pushes that puck. Lions has it now on the sideboards. Cassidy Lions trying to move it out. She stopped. And again, Devin Spinelli stops that puck before it gets to Budway. She's going to dump that puck down. And that's a good icing to take there, Nick, at this point in the game. But can't run around a little bit, needed to change. Well, yeah, they definitely want some fresh bodies out there. Um, they're allowed to change up on the icing, gone and out of the zone. So, Caitlin Vicente on the faceoff. Falmouth's going to win that one. That goes to Johnson. She comes in, she takes a shot, that's blocked in front again. Well, good play there by Crignale. He's tried to move it out, just to Get it out of the zone. So Corey Kai there in her own zone going to try and move it out. She does. She gets it into the neutral zone now. Falmouth's going to start out with it again. That's number 24. Duffany, good pass up. She gets it up. Johnson has it now. She gets to the top of the circle. She's checked there by Corey Kai. And Vicente has it now. She's one on one as uh, Duffany coming back, but she takes a shot on net. Good play there by Kaylin Vicente. To take some seconds off the clock, get Canton some fresh legs out there. Spinelli's on the forecheck. Anna Lehan off the bench now, coming in to help out. Lehan trying to pick up the loose puck. That's going to go to Ferreira. Ferreira trying to move it out. Stop the center ice by Campbell. Georgia Campbell with a good play. Good defensive play, and she gets over the line. She gets into the Falmouth zone. Has Penders with her, but she throws it around the other side for Spinelli. Spinelli trying to get it. As uh, Falma trying to break it out of their own zone. Johnson again, but she can't control. Canton's going to get it down into the Falma zone. Time is fleeting here for Falma as Canton doing a good job. And here's a break for Canton. Anna Lehan one on one. Oh, and she broke it up, but picked, uh, almost picked up by Pendus. Goes out into the neutral zone. Johnson throws it rink wide. No one there. As uh, oh, just picked up there by Devlin. She takes a shot. That's blocked. Good play by Cohen. That's going to be knocked aside by the referee. As Cusack picks up the loose puck, she gets into the neutral zone. She'll dump it down into the can. I mean, into the Falma zone. That's picked up by Ferreira there. As Gabriella Ferreira throws it up, gets it to Hostetter. Hostetter gains the line. She throws it in on Budway from the outside, and Kate Budway makes the save and ties that one up. Kate, smart play there by Kate. You know, she wants to immobilize the puck, slow everything down, let the Bulldogs reset. No need to be running around at this point. Get your structure back, play good defense. McLean's 46 seconds left. Uh, McLean on the faceoff, but that's blocked there by Stock. That's going to be thrown down in the corner. Thrown right out in front. Oh, and stopped in front before it got the Budway. Another shot. Oh, the big save by Kate Budway. What a stop there on number 12, Island Briggs. And Kate Budway made the blocker stop and no rebound. No rebound there, Pete. Uh, one time from the point. That was a great slap shot. And uh, Kate watched it the whole way. That's what you got to do as a goalie. Find that puck, track it, stop it. There you go. Face off in the Canton zone. McLean on the face off. Oh, good break out there. Cusack gets it to Stock. Stock gains the line. She's got McLean with her. She takes a shot on a big stop there. 
by Devlin again. McLean on the sideboard. She picks up the loose puck. McLean comes out. She takes the backhand. Stopped by Devlin again. But now Cusack has it. Cusack behind the net. She tries to come out. She takes the shot. Hits the side of the net. McLean now along with Stock. Stock trying to pick it up. Stock trying to get the loose puck. That's picked up there by Hostetter. She'll move it out to center ice. That's stopped by Tori Carr, who's going to throw it right back in on goal. No icing there. As Canton again getting some fresh legs out there. Spinelli out there now. Spinelli trying to get the loose puck picked up by Turner. Turner gets ahead of steam, gets through center ice. Turner gains the line, but she's stopped there by Georgia Campbell. Picked up again by Turner. She takes the shot. That's going to go wide. In the corner now, Casey Roth has it. She's blocked there. Good play there by Stock. Stock gets it up to Spinelli as Canton trying to get some fresh legs out there with, a, with the change. Kaylee Cohen on the ice now. Cohen has it with a minute 19 left. Canton up 2-1. to one. Kaylee Cohen's going to start out within her own zone. She's going to throw it into center ice as this will not be icing. And on the puck first is Anna Lehan. Lehan in there. She goes behind the net. She's checked. Lehan stops, looking for an open player. Lehan with the big play, taking some valuable seconds off. Duffany has it now, she's gonna throw it up. We'll see if Campbell wants to pull the goal. And the Canton has to clear the zone, they do. That's picked up by Briggs. Briggs checked there by Pender. Good play there by Pender. On the fourth check, she picks up the loose puck. Pender's on the sideboard. Along with Spinelli. Spinelli comes in, tries to get the loose puck. That's picked up by Johnson now. Johnson goes right wide, but heads up there by Tori Carr. I mean, uh, Spinelli, I'm sorry. It will pick up that loose puck. Anna Lehan throws it up ice now. As Canton getting a change, Cusack comes on the ice. Johnson checked there. Puck going to go into the Canton end. Spinelli has it. Gives it to Cusack. Ten seconds left. As Cusack has it behind the net. Cusack gets it to Penders. Canton happy just to eat that puck as there's a check there on the boards. And that will do it in this game as Canton victorious. Two to nothing as a little, uh, little scrub there in the corner, a little hit from behind, but everybody got up unheard and Canton the victor in this game. Uh, great, and uh, the referee will actually put a penalty on the board there at the end, just for the record. Uh, but a uh, great game by the Bulldogs. Uh, that was a tremendous game. Uh, ex excellent work with the puck, body, and positioning. It was outstanding, totally outstanding. Uh, Falmouth coach is a little bit unhinged on the ice. So Falmouth coming in at number one in Division Two at 16-1-1, one one. now 16-2-1, now and, and Canton, I'll tell you, this is gonna, this is gonna do something uh, for the rankings, and what a win going into the tournament time, you know, Canton with a couple games left in the regular season, obviously can't look too far ahead, but they're gonna savor this victory over a very, very good Falmouth team. Well, that was a that was a very good high school hockey game. Both teams played exceptionally well. Ken got two goals uh, early in this game, and uh, it was a, uh, a you know a slugfest uh, the rest of the way out. And uh, both teams had a tremendous second period, tremendous third period, a lot of activity. Uh, Kate Budway with another shutout, Pete. I think that's number eight for her on the season. I do, and, and I, I think it's th either three or four in a row, Nick, at this point in time. I'll tell you, Canton defense, I thought, played a tremendous game today. Uh, Tori Carr, Kaylee Cohen had a great game. Uh, you know, Georgia Campbell, and, and, you know, you just can't name everybody. But I'll tell you, defensively, they blocked a lot of shots in front of Kate Budway. And more importantly, moved the puck away from the front of the net. Defensive positioning was excellent. Stick control, excellent. Getting sticks in the lane. Falmouth didn't really have any uh, open avenues to get to that net. 
And when they did, Kate was there. Absolutely. And Kate Bugway, again, plays a great game, makes the saves when she needs to, and keeping uh, Falmouth off the board. So, And then what can you say about the offense, Nick? I'll tell you, for checking today, I thought the offense did a great job. Falmouth did not have a clean breakout tonight. Well, they, they had some clean break, breakouts at the beginning, but Canton adjusted. And certainly Canton had what they call layers, layers after layers <laughs> after layers. You got through one, you got to another. That's what uh, the, the Bruins always try to do. Uh, they have their layers, and uh, Canton had that tonight. Absolutely, no question there. So a great win for the Bulldogs. A great win this late in the season and a great confidence booster for them, I'll tell you, going into the tournament. Oh, ab absolutely, Pete. Uh, this is the type of hockey game you want to play. Uh, it's, it's February now. What's coming up? Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, so, uh, you know, that means... That I don't know be what that means, but I mean... <laughs> that means the, tur the high school hockey tournament's just around the corner. It's just around the corner. Vaca February school vacation next week. You find out the tournament pairings at the end of next week, and, uh, you know, it it's on from there. But, again, we don't want to look ahead. We want we want to play... The Bulldogs got to play one game at a time and just move on as they uh, into the tournament. One game at a time. Let's see what they can do. No Girls problem. are having a tremendous season, but they're not done yet. Yeah. Let's see what they can do the rest of the way. Absolutely. So that will do it from here, from the Ice House, on a great game. We knew this was going to be a great game, up and down action, and it did not disappoint. It was a great game uh, on both ends of the ice, and uh, Canton came out victorious, 2 to nothing. So, Nick, as always, we want to thank our cable, cable staff. We have Andrea here, we have Tanya, Tim, Mark, and they do a great job. They bring you all these games. We're on the road tonight at the Ice House. We're not at the Metropolis Rink, so they brought the uh, the cameras here. We bring these games to the to the uh, the people of Canton. And I'll tell you, as the legend Joe Donnelly always said, greatest cable staff in the world. Bar none. Thank you very much, Nick. And we all know it, and we thank them for that. So for my partner, Nick Maffeo, this is Pete DeSisto with the final score for the final time. Canton 2. Found at zero. We'll see you all again soon.